it's really cold today. <laughs> oh, and raining and my hot water won't turn on and the gas heater is a bit tricky to turn on. I haven't been able to. So I think there is something wrong with my gas. I am going to try and get my gas checked while I'm in Christchurch. But it's bloody freezing. I've got my, my puppet jacket on. I've been having hot drinks and I've got my throw. <laughs> I'm going to go to the pool soon and, and at least I'll warm up there. One of my viewers uh, ended up having a chat with me at this park and turns out he knows a bit about caravans so I brought him over and we talked about the gas issues. I did not know that you could take the cover off the gas like this. Apparently in his there were just a couple of batteries to swap and to help with the igniter. Because maybe, it, yeah, it would have been amazing if it was as simple as that. But mine seems to just, the wire goes down underneath the caravan. So we're wondering if I've got a different model that maybe it's connected to the battery, maybe? Which is a shame. But Getting this off has given me the chance to actually clean around and I've learnt a little bit more, so it's been good. That's been good. I'm actually struggling to attach it again. Now I really need to see someone. <laughs> ah! Be good to know though how to put this back on for in the future and at least I've got the barcode so I know what I'm looking at. So I'm just at UK Caravans in Christchurch. I thought while I'm here I might as well come out and just have a look at their, their setup. They're right by the, uh, the airport and unfortunately they didn't have either of the two accessories that I was after. So I also popped into Affordable Caravans they also sell a lot of UK caravan accessories and they had the window latches, the window hooks, I don't know what you call them. Really lovely lady, yeah. It's all go this morning. I have organized to get my hot water and my gas heater checked but the guy wants me to be there at 8am and he's about an hour away <laughs> so it's an early start, I just need to get on the road. Oh, amazing. Can you hear yeah, so I just turn it around on three, hold it down for three to five seconds. Oh, yeah. Couple of clicks and, yep. and, and you know, to look down on that angle to see the flame. Yep. Yeah. Red again. Red again. So it's right yeah, back. Yeah, there you go. I usually store stuff on my bed when I'm traveling, but yeah, <laughs> I yeah. thought you wanted to get in. <laughs> so it's been going okay until when? It's just been slowly getting harder and harder to turn on yeah. and this whole time in Christchurch I just haven't been able to get it going at once. Yeah. Is that sometimes the fuse blows up? Or? Yeah, there is a fuse in there. There must be a board here to see if it's the board you see. Oh, okay. Well, the heat is working now. Sure. No. can't get the hot water going. Might be the motherboard, which Dan says is about $500 to get a new one. So, kind of hoping that's not that. <laughs> and then Dan noticed that basically my oven is has dropped. A couple of screws have come out and the whole thing's kind of dropped down. So it looks like the whole oven needs to be taken out and... Same board too, that's good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Put it away. <laughs> it's 
so it's just an extra five hundred dollars. <laughs> it's crazy to think that just probably one component broke in that and the yeah, whole thing. That's right. Whole thing's done. Sorting out, yeah. Oh yes, there's some of the uh, oven down there. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. <laughs> but it's still been working fine. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cooked a meat pie the other night. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder what that does. <laughs> um, we'll see how on that. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Yep. We'll do it just sort of that way. Huh. That was unplugged? Yeah. Oh, just oh, loose. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we need to get the oven in there this in position first before we start putting that on. Makes sense. Have you got a carbon monoxide tester in here, Karen? No. That's All been right. something I've progressed on. I sell ones? I sell them for $60. That's an okay and, price. I try and get them into every... Yeah. Area. It's been something that is on my, my to-do list. Okay, let's make this a very expensive visit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's already very expensive. <laughs> yes, I'll be doing lots of graphic design work. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Will you add it into the wiring? Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's just battery operated. Battery, battery operated. Oh yeah. It's just too many people were. Yeah, it's like the silent killer. So. Yeah. Yeah. Every caravan should have one. Yeah. <laughs> You'll notice carbon monoxide with black soot. So if you've got your, your pots all black yeah. from cooking, yeah, yeah. you know it's producing carbon monoxide or, oh, you, okay. or quite a yellow flame. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it does that sometimes when it's low and the, bot the gas bottle's low. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be producing carbon monoxide. Yeah. Yeah, which is not good for you. Okay. 3 kPa. Okay. Is that what you're after? Yeah. So what will, what will the difference be for me? Um, your appliances are running at the pressure that they are made. Okay, so, so they should perform better. Yeah, like they're more efficient, you know, that's how when they were made in the factory they were run yeah. at that pressure, so that's the five star rating that they'll have at yeah. that pressure. Okay. If it drops down pressure 2.12 or 2.22, yeah. then it's underperforming, you know. Okay. So I've made it to Geraldine. Really glad to get the hot water and the gas heater fixed. <laughs> so it turns out I needed the oven fixed as well because the whole a couple of screws had come out <laughs> and uh, the whole thing was dropping down. And then when we took it out, we could see that there are a couple of metal parts to vent the heat up and one had dropped off and one was off to the side. So kind of really glad to get it fixed actually yeah Dan had noticed also that my grill section was drooping down on one side and it looks like there was a crack in the middle above it and so since the grill was still working decided to just hold off and deal with that another day funnily enough turn up at this campground and the whole thing's fallen off it's uh, probably properly fallen off on the one side so I don't know, I'm wondering if I can just tentatively push it up <laughs> so I can use it, use it for a little while. I think it's safe to use. Oh, 
here. <laughs> And actually turns out putting this back on was surprisingly easy. It was just sitting sitting the metal on these the little metal rivets at the bottom, just quietly sitting on it and then just pushing it in. <laughs> Nothing quite as uh, hardcore as I was trying to do. And I thought now might be a good time to mention Patreon. <laughs> So if you want to help out in any way, it's been a very expensive day, to be honest. Even a dollar a month would be so appreciated. But you also get access to behind the scenes stuff. And if you're $5 or more, you get access to a map with all the campgrounds I stay at. And if you're $20 or more, you get your name at the end of a video. So I'd, I just, I really do appreciate all my, my Patreons. And to my patrons, Alan, Pauline, David, William, Braze Caravans, Kevin, Mike, DJ, and all my other patrons, thank you guys.